I'd be remiss if I didn't ask somebody from Stanford about computer vision. Will we see that in healthcare and where will we see it? Oh, yeah. Funny you mentioned that. We, we just had a press release. One of our ideologists, electrophysiologists, is the first to use an Apple Vision Pro spatial computing in the OR. And it was pretty cool. A big shout out to our biomedical engineering team that pulled that off. But it was a proof of concept, so it's still very early of the idea that you can use spatial computing devices to display information in a way that is accessible to surgeons in the OR in a different kind of way. You can move things around, you can grow them without touching anything. So you can really customize how you want it to be. So it's really exciting. So I think that is in its infancy right now in terms of what what we can do. I think the technology is gen one and it's not cheap. How we use it, I think we're still trying to learn, but I do see the OR as a initial use case. Have you put one on yet, the Vision Pro? I have, yeah. It's interesting. It has six cameras on the outside. Now, when you think of through what it can do with those cameras in the OR, it can really zoom in on things and bring that right to your vision. I think you hit on one of the big things when we were doing pilots in our OR, the surgeons would always say to us, I can't touch the keyboard. I can't like, and so we were using things like the original PlayStation had this visual thing. And we were right. playing around with that. We voice, we use voice extensively. It's interesting. You brought up that case that that'll be, I think it, it will be interesting if they can look at the record, look at the vitals, look at all that stuff without losing their focus on the patient. That's a big win. 